day one. We are headed out of town and running into a dust storm as we drive through these cuts in the road and checking for good rocks. And they're just limestone. Fire, almost ready for coffee. It's a charcoal fire with sticks nearby that needed to be cleaned up. And this is day two of Penny and Bill's Excellent Adventures. We've got our breakfast in our bellies, dishes are done, tents nestled down for the day, coolers are in the shade. We have to use the tent for a shade. As you notice, there's no trees out here. There's a lot of brown druzy, or not druzy, good grief. I gotta get back in the flow. Um, what we see here is a lot of brown jaspers. A lot of volcanic rock. Our destination is up and over. And of course, hoping to see stuff along the way. So far, it's a lot of jaspers, some crystals. Pretty cool stuff. These are what they call a mud ball. It has pretties on the outside and the insides are all mud. I know it was one time. It was actually a geode. But we all make mistakes. run it could have been petrified wood it's hard to imagine that this place had trees thousands of years ago
once I get to my destination, I will slow down and peer a little bit deeper into the rocks. But for now, I'm hightailing it up and over. <laughs> and I keep finding reasons to stop. We have a bunch of these. Doesn't really, ha I'm looking for pretty bands, contrasting colors. volcanic rock and I have found here if I'm not mistaken it's one of the seashell fossils I'm in the area where there's a lot of fossils but there's a lot of little cute rocks too look how tiny this guy is and look at this tiny tiny piece of green And my worries kind of, I don't know, go away? Something like that. Alright, we sat for a second. And now I think it's that hill right there I'm after over that. And that is where I think there's a lot of good stuff. We had been there before. And yes, we are on a ranch. Had private uh, permission. So we're not allowed to tell anybody where we're at. Just enjoy the view. Huh. So you sit down here and you find another piece. Hmm. It's everywhere, I tell you. Everywhere. Oh, that's not a bad piece of carnation. Out of the yellow, I call it yellow, yellow brown jaspers are here. A lot of the uh, open quartz. There's another one. Sometimes, if you're fortunate, ah, oh, see, like that one. Sometimes, if you're fortunate, you can get a pretty jersey, bruisey going on. I, I like those. The bling bling. then your shadow is behind you and it doesn't block things. Nah. If he is a little geode, or not geode, agate, he's a darker crystal look.
Where's that? Huh. Well, by golly. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's got pretty colors. Wait, what's this? Oh my goodness, okay. Put them in the bag. Keep picking up. There's another. He's a geode inside. I don't know though. He's got a lot of curious rock. Okay. What else do we see here? So I was skunked by my husband. I mean, look at this. This thing is huge. And this one's a solid agate. Looks like a turtle right there. And <laughs> they're all solid agates. And then he finds this. I mean, that is gorgeous. Did you find that, Bill? <laughs> he camera saw shy. Okay, and then he found this one. It's so muddy you can't really see, but it's just like these guys. I'm talking. He skunked me. I mean, look how big these guys are. They're huge. Yeah. Well, I thought we did pretty good for just the morning. <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness, look at the sizzle on that thing. And that potato yeah, down in there. A, looks like I'm making a smoked offering. A burnt offering? <laughs> oh, well. Did you have a good day? It was very good, I think. You skunked your wife. Me. Well, I did skunk you because you did get some stuff. <laughs> so you ground squirreled me? Well, I just got the quality stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yours is better than mine. <laughs> and I got 20 pounds. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. That was one of the rocks in there. I think it's hot enough. <laughs> Did you get shrapnel? <laughs> Almost. <laughs>